Manipulators will use false accusations and threats. John 19, 12. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. Oy, we just said it. Jesus had already said his kingdom is not of this world. Kingdom of heaven. And king, kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of God. It's not of this world. He had been very open about that teaching. Multiple times in his ministry. He wasn't there to take down the Roman government, even though that is what the Jews at the time wanted from the Messiah. He wasn't doing it, and yet they're taking that and saying, look what he's trying to do. He's trying to be an insurrectionist. He's trying to take down the Roman government. He's declaring himself a king. How hypocritical. Because that's exactly what they wanted in their Messiah. And the pilot knew that Jesus was no threat to the Roman government. Barabbas, the guy that, Jew, the, the guy that the Jews wanted released, well, he was. But Jesus was innocent. Manipulators will use any means of false accusation that they can to get their way. A wife commits adultery with multiple other men. The husband confronts her. She threatens the husband that if he doesn't agree to give her a no-fault divorce along with custody, child support, and alimony, she's going to go tell the court that he's a violent man and beats her and her kids on a regular basis. That's happened, yeah, several times, as a matter of fact. Threats a false accusation in order to get what she wants. How about the husband with the handicapped wife who, because she told him he was doing something she didn't like, says, if you bring that up again, I'm not taking you to church. I know somebody that happened to. There was a budding minister, not me, there was a budding minister, who was in studies that had a wife who repeatedly kept telling him, if you don't do whatever she wanted that week, I'm going to go to tell the church that you insert the latest transgression she thought of here. That's manipulation. They'll use anything they can to get what they want.